Hey, this is Red Band coming to you from the world famous comedy store for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe! Yeah! Fuck yeah, everybody. Hi, how are you? Yeah, it's like a live audience in here. How's everybody doing? Happy Monday to you. Here we are settling in for episode 27 of Kill Tony. How exciting. An internet sensation. Uh, we, we, I think we have our first uh, true internet star that we created, uh, Eric Carter. What? This week. I saw, I saw your Twitter blowing up, right? Yeah. People are going crazy. There, there you go. Hopefully you'll get picked out of the bucket and we'll talk about it in a bit. Okay. Um, uh, fun weekend in crazy college football. We're Buckeyes, Brian and I, and... Uh, uh, most of you probably aren't interested, but it was a crazy weekend uh, on that side of things. So very fun. And uh, what else? What else do we do? I, I was in San Diego. I got to uh, open up for Joey Diaz. Oh. It was awesome. Yeah, fun time. Awesome. I love San Diego. It's Powerful Joey Diaz. Yeah, it's truly Joey one Diaz of my awesome. favorites. Yeah. I'm working on creating an episode that we do at the Ice House so that um, we can get Joey Diaz and Joe Rogan. Yeah. one as, as the guest. Yeah, we'll have that. We'll have, we'll have to have that outside of the, the comedy store, but yes. that'll be a great event. Yes. They both said they'll do it also. So. Yes, they're both totally in. We just got to throw them a date yeah. and, and book that shit. I guess we're also uh, in talks of taking uh, Kill Tony on the road. Yes. So if you are uh, in a city that has a pretty strong open mic, uh, tell your comedy clubs to get in touch with us because we've already got a couple places uh, that we're starting. One's in San Diego, uh, I believe. So. Yep. And rumors of perhaps Texas, I think it was Canada, Canada. Toronto. Oh, yeah, Toronto, also. Yeah, could be in the making. Yeah. There you go. There's some claps for Toronto, <laughs> claps for Kill Tony. <laughs> um, as always, ladies and gentlemen, one of our favorite people in the whole wide world, our head of security here at Kill Tony. Put your hands together for the one and only Iron Patriot, everybody. <laughs> here he is. <laughs> He was only making some of those noises. Uh, <laughs> the Iron Patriot, the superpower that he is. How's it going, yep, buddy? Yeah, yep. I took it easy, Tony, this week. Yep. Um, I watched the Cowboy game on Thursday. That was good. They beat the Raiders. And, You're from uh, Dallas, so that's exciting for you. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk to you on Saturday. I watched the video of Ice House Chronicles. Okay. And I was looking forward to see that because I wanted to see Kimberly and Sarah on HD, and I wanted to hear them talk. But it was a crazy episode. You know, you were so close to not being creepy for a second. <laughs> and then you said you wanted to see the girls in HD. Well, you can see them in real life, which is way better than HD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see them every Monday. We're talking about two regulars on this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, but I had to wait a long time to hear Kimberly talk because um, Brody was out of control. You know, I've seen Brody on 10, but this was Brody on 15. If you guys haven't watched this, you got to see this. And I love Brody. I think his show is going to do good. And I know his mother's having trouble. She's in the hospital. She's but, getting out soon. But Brody. it's like no matter how much... He's pitch- talking about the great Brody Stevens, everybody. Yeah. Who, uh, a new, new show on Comedy Central every Sunday at midnight. The first episode started last night. I at- just literally... I'm not even fucking with you. My butt vibrated. I just got a text from Brody Stevens himself that is just two emoticons, a thumbs up, and a praying hands. Wow. So that's what kind of guy we're dealing with. Pound sign simulation right That there. kind of positive energy, literally, just got that text from Brody Stevens, who has a new show on Comedy Central every Sunday night at midnight called Enjoy It, one of our great friends. And he was a little excited on the Ice House Chronicles yeah, on Yeah, Friday it's night. like no matter how much attention you guys gave him, he needed more. He wanted you to pick his brain. Yeah. You should have killed him like a cannibal, carved out his brain, and then started picking on him. What Say, is that good fuck? enough? What the fuck? <laughs> wow. Yeah, but you had two good jokes that I like, Tony. You had two real good ones. You said you said that you wish you got the memo that it was yeah. going to be the Brody show, and then you also called him tisexual. That oh, was yeah. very clever. You like that? You know, yeah. Wow, you're yeah. literally quoting jokes from a podcast on Friday night. Yeah, I like it. I like it. You are a machine. Yeah, you? but I, I looked on the video. It was... One hour and five minutes before Kimberly got to talk, and then she only said two sentences, and it was right back to Brody again. How many times in slow motion, jerking off, did you watch those two uh, sentences? Oh, you know I'm just friends with Kimberly. Come on. 
What was the whole HD thing about? Well, it's just I like to see people that are on the show with me. I'm, um, you know, going ahead and getting on did other shows. Pa- and stuff. Did you like pause it at all and stare at them or something? No, I just I just watched it. It was funny. I watched it to the whole end. It was great. If you guys get a chance, check this out. It was it was very very fun to watch. Because one of the crazy things that I remember about you, because I recently went back and listened to a lot of episodes, is at one point Natasha Legero was a guest on the show, and you said that you saw her on something on TV, and that you paused it at the right moment to be able to know that her le- left middle toe on her left foot, he noticed, curled in towards her big toe. Well, no, I saw and her. on the show, when you said that, she goes, what are you talking about? She took off her shoe right here, and she's like, oh my God, how did he know that? This yeah, guy yeah. looks at girls' feet so closely in HD slow motion DVR, whatever the fuck, that uh, he told some, to Natasha something about her foot that she didn't even know about. Well, see, that was – I actually saw her feet on WikiFeet, that, that website with celebrated feet. But the one you're talking about was that girl Jade. I saw a video of her walking on the hardwood floor barefoot, and then I saw that tattoo on her foot. All right. Yeah. It, got, it got weirder somehow. Somehow yeah. it got weirder. There you go. Yeah. And when things get weird. <laughs> You're breathing heavy under there tonight, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk about feet, that's why. <laughs> yeah. 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 Should yeah. I tickle him to get him out yeah, of Yeah, you know, on Sunday was the Hollywood Christmas parade. And um, I went out before the parade started, and there were a lot of people waiting on the street to, to see the parade. And the kids were just yelling for me. It was pretty fun. I mean, they were just all yelling out Iron Man, you know. And I was taking a lot of pictures. It was pretty fun. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you sent us a song again this week. You've yep. actually been sending us songs almost every week now. Oh, we're doing it yep. again? Yeah, I guess so. But well, I mean, I'm, I'm getting some feedback on Twitter that people like my quirky songs at the beginning of the show. How many more <laughs> do you have left, though? You're going to blow your um, load. Well, once I get done with those, I got two other bands I was in. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah, I had a band I was in called Romeo and the Dreamers, and I had another band called Shame. Wow. So you're a failed musician three times over. No, no. These are classic songs. It just wasn't the right time back then. I'm bringing them back at the right time. (laughs) For those of you that don't know, he was in a failed rock and roll band. They're more like the B-52s meets, uh, like, President's United States R.E.M. or something. Yeah, the President's... Whatever. No, no. Uh, they, they were, it's like a combination of a bunch of mediocre bands. And no, it, no. it was during the grunge Classic. era. It was during the grunge era. Yeah, yeah. And it was like B-52 style music. You can't categorize it, Tony. Come on. It's got its own sound. It's a well, it's sound. happy. What he's saying, it's happy during its uh, yeah. a time of sadness. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. When being sad was cool, you're like, right now, we're going to attack with positive songs. Yeah, I grew up on the Beatles, you know. L- literally, he grew up on Beatles. Yeah, um, yeah. All right, so let's listen to this song. It's always they always seem a lot longer than they actually are. He repeats verses that okay. My we'll songs see. have three verses and three choruses. Like ninety nine percent of the songs written, Tony. <laughs> oh shit! Whoa! Here we go. Turn the up, Iron Patriot, everybody, get into it. Here we are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Episode twenty seven. Yes, I'm a Built fool up. for your loving. Like every song sounds. Like and that. I'm a fool for your crying eyes. Turn it up, bro. Look out! Yeah, that's more than enough. Uh, there he is, once again. You know what, can I, can I hear what that sounds like without him singing into the mic? So don't, don't say anything into the mic, okay, Patriot? I just want to hear what the original track sounds like. Yes, I am. I'm just a fool. 
Now I know it's just yeah, it's the same. That's you without the robot voice, huh? Yeah. It's very similar. It's because <laughs> it's, it's him. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how good I did that. I, I see, I, I was kind of fighting it, <laughs> singing. Wow. I don't know, I mean, I don't know if I still got it anymore, Tony. I, that was 20 years ago when I sang that, so I don't know. I don't know if I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, under all that armor, yeah. it's just a big softy yeah. under yeah. there, huh? You said I'm the head of insecurity. There you go, that's right. Yeah. There you go. It's a lot funnier when I say it, Patriot. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. fuck yeah. Yeah, you know, I try my best, I try my best. So, like, when you wrote that song, fool, I'm guessing that's called Fool for Your Lovin'? Yeah, I've, I've been a fool for love many times. The worst, the worst story I can tell you was back in 1998, I worked at a place called The Filling Station, I was a waiter. I was in love with this pretty, pretty little petite girl that was half Mexican, half white, named Jennifer. Gave her $2,000 to move into a place, and didn't even get to soothe on the pouch at all. Wait, you didn't get the what on the couch? Didn't get to do any soothing on the pouch. Oh, wait. You know, you, you say guys are pussy whipped. This was even worse. I didn't even get no pussy. I was just plain whipped. And I was in love with this girl, and she broke my heart. But I think everybody's been a fool for love at times. Have you ever been a fool for love, Tony? No, definitely not. No. Come Thanks. on, come on. No. He's not being honest with you, because I think we've all been fools for love. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. It's like uh, women do this thing to me, and... You know, I, I just, I just, I just do whatever they want me to. Yeah. Wow. That is. Uh, so how long did you, uh, how long did you live with her? No, I didn't. I didn't live with her. I was just, I was working with her at the filling station, and you know, we hang out a couple times, and you know, it might have been the cocaine. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, when you get a girl on cocaine, you think it's gonna be good, but it's not bad. It's not good. It's not good. It might. Oh. It might have been, huh? Oh man! Wow. Yep. Well, that's the Iron Patriot, everybody. You guys ready to see who our guests are tonight? It's always fun, always exciting. I'm so lucky to have so many hilarious friends, and tonight's no different. Uh, the we always have two guests on. Put your hands together for this week's guests, everybody. You know them. You love them from uh, things like. Uh, uh, wait, who do I want to bring up first? Who? I don't care. Oh, wait, that's right. Okay. <laughs> but no, I have to think about it because then that decides who's next to me. What did we say earlier? Who's first? Okay, you know this first guy from uh, Chelsea Lately and other fun things. Put your hands together for Justin Martindale, everybody. He's a paid regular here. He's a big deal on TV. And my other pal, it's Sean Halpin, everyone. The Texas Rattlesnake, one of my funniest friends. Creative mind, hilarious. Here they are. They're both from Texas, everyone. Literally, they are both from Texas. As is the Iron Patriot. Did you guys ever come across the Patriot before uh, before he became the Patriot? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When he was just a proud American. No. No, yeah, but I I'm, do love that song, though. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not from there, but I lived there for 28 years. That's what they all say, Patriot. Um, yeah. Um, uh, Justin, I did some reading about you today. Oh, did you? I want to talk read? to you. Before we get the show started, I want to say some things. Um, you're from San Antonio. You started comedy at 2008. You came to the comedy store at 2009. Mitzi liked you so much, she made you a paid regular right away. Very impressive. Thank you. Um, you opened up for Whitney Cummings. You even went on a cruise and did some comedy. Now, what I want to ask you is, sometimes you write for the fashion police for Joan Rivers. Now, what do you think Joan would say about my outfit? That you were the Iron Gatriot. That's ah. what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Damn. Boom. Damn. That, no, that was very impressive. Thank you for that Wikipedia. What'd you read about Sean? Okay, Sean. Yeah. I was listening. I was listening to your go. podcast today, the yeah. Full Count Podcast. Yes. And a particular episode took my attention. Okay. It was the one where you were talking about Motorhead. Okay. Now, now this guy Lemmy, he's quite a character. He's got two warts the size of garbanzo beans on his face. He plays the bass guitar like it's a rhythm guitar. Mm -hmm. He's lived in the same apartment for over 20 years in West Hollywood. Rent control, nine hundred dollars a month. Right. Now, have you seen this documentary? I saw the same documentary. Yeah, in 2010. It's a great. It's a great one. 
and I learned a lot. Did, did you have wow. anything else to add to that? Uh, what was that? I, I, I love that. I love that. You mentioned you mentioned everything Nothing Justin's done yeah. in his career for the last five years. You start in on Sean, and you just go off on a tangent about how much you know about Lemmy from Motorhead. <laughs> What was that? that was interesting, Patriot. Well, you well, forget what we were doing here for a second? Yeah, I, I just wanted to have a, a talk man to man about music because. Uh, yeah, uh, it felt like we really connected right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, nice coin star you got here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a receipt for that? <laughs> no. That would be great. That, that's the one thing you're missing, Patriot, is a slot for us to just dump our pennies into. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Now, have yep. you heard of his band when you guys lived in Texas? Because, I mean, it when, was all over the radio. In, did you live in Dallas? Yeah, I lived in Dallas. You know, they just had the 50th anniversary of Kennedy be assassinated. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, it, Dallas that's... is, if you haven't been to Dallas, it's a very historical city if you want to go see that. If you haven't heard of Kennedy, then, uh... <laughs> yeah. But were you there in the early '90s? That was when Dirty Crabber was big in Deep Ellum. You ever you been to Deep Ellum? Yeah. yeah. Trees? Did you play Trees? Uh, we did. We headlined at Trees on a Saturday. That was one of our biggest nights. Yeah, we, uh, we worked for several years to get there. You know, and Tony doesn't realize that I worked on these songs I, on songwriting for several years to give you these um, precious jewels that I play every week. <laughs> These precious jewels. Yeah. These are, are every, you going to go up for X Factor or anything like that? Um, I don't know. I don't a, know. I haven't thought about that. I'm if you haven't thinking. seen him without the helmet on, I can tell you he has a great face to be on The Voice. Oh. <laughs> I could do without your sarcasm. It's totally. really, really smart if you guys think about the joke I just said for a second. That's me saying that he's ugly underneath the armor. No. He's a great face for The Voice. No. no. I didn't like get anything, so I'm just making sure. I do like the songwriting skills, though. If, you, if you've never written <laughs> yeah. a song, just put I in front of everything. <laughs> I went to the store, and then I got some pancakes. Right. You're like, this fucking song. I'm a fool for your love. I broke my heart in two. I bet if we sat here for 20 minutes, each with an iPad, we could find literally 100 songs that have almost those exact lyrics in there, right? Yeah, yeah. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's where I found him. Was uh, Leonard Skinner one of your influences? Yeah, we, we got a little bit of influence there. Of the, uh, I, I, I like that band. I yeah. like it. That, that Freebird video on YouTube, that's a classic video if that you guys want to watch. That video, yeah. Not the song, the video. Well, just, I, I, I like them. I like, I, there's a lot of uh, mixture in our music. It's, it's a combination of everything, you know. Nice. And, and then my own style was thrown in. Wow. Yeah. A little creaky yeah. tonight. Yeah. That yeah. suit's making a lot of noise yeah. over there. It's moving around. <laughs> really getting deep. It might, might be time for some oil. No, uh, no. no. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I like it's trailing off. Just no, no. Yeah. No, no. Trying to figure no, out, I'm no, trying to figure no, out what's going on next no, to me. No, you, no. Making creaky making noises. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we know. You were, yeah. You're really good at them. Um, fuck yeah. So, you guys know what we do here, uh, and this week's no different. Over 30 comedians sign up, signed up for the opportunity to uh, do a minute on stage and watch comedy magic happen to perhaps their own material or their own whoever they are and however it happens. A whole bunch of craziness. You get to see stand-up comedians, and then you get to hear us talk to them. So, it's always fun. Uh, you guys ready to get this thing started or what? It's fun. I mean, yeah. I think Let's do it. Yeah, I've been doing comedy with you guys for years, so mm -hmm. I know that uh, we all have fun opinions on different perspectives <laughs> on things, so I know for a fact this will be exciting. For those of you that don't know, perhaps you comedians out there, you get 60 seconds. At the end of that 60 seconds, you know your time is exactly up because you will hear the meow of a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to sound like that. <laughs> That means to stop doing material. If you keep doing that, if you if you run your time, you're going to hear the sound of the angry West Hollywood bear. <laughs> and that bear sounds that was Sean Halpin, extra angry tonight. <laughs> uh, so you don't like want to you don't want to bring him out. Um, so what do you say we get this thing started, huh? Okie dokie. <laughs> all right, two people are excited. That's all happening. Two people. Our, uh, our front row is uh, reserved right now, if you're wondering why it's empty. <laughs> uh, we're expecting them to come in. A bunch of big producers and stuff. Cast the crew of Fast and Furious. Right. Yeah. Service industry <laughs> people. The, yeah, well, they, they made the reservation a week ago. It's the, it's the whole staff from the Fast and the Furious. And, 
I'm really surprised that they're not here. I hope, I hope everything's okay. What? I wonder what they're doing. Yeah. I know they have a new movie coming out and everything. Yeah. Anyway. Probably can't find Maybe like a preview or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, your first comedian tonight. Uh, put your hands works. together for Skylar, everyone. Skylar. Oh, coming from deep in the Skylar. corner. The farthest possible walk. Make oh, an yeah. entrance, Skylar. Make an entrance. Here he is. Skylar, everybody. Wow, he made it. Not as yeah. fast as a Thundercat, that's for sure. So, uh, if you guys don't know this, uh, I just moved to L.A. And uh, I did the sexiest thing you could do for women. I moved in with my grandmother. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's weird. It's weird dating, like, living with your grandmother. Because I, I, I invited a date to watch a movie, because that's all I can afford. And, you know, my grandma kept chiming in with, like, Hey, are you hungry? No, grandma. You want something to drink? No, Grandma. Then we started making out here at the noise. Do you want a condom? No, Grandma. But, you know, I should have I, I should have taken her up on the condom because asking her for a ride to the abortion clinic was a bit awkward. There you go. 53 seconds from Skylar. Now, I've seen you a couple times on this show, and I have to say that I'm excited that you're actually talking about living with your grandma, because I know that we found out after a couple previous sets that that was something in your life that we felt like you should be talking about. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, glad that, uh, I'm glad that you're finally doing that. I, I, like, uh, I like the fact that you're keeping it real and, that, and making a funny thing about something that's actually true to you. And so anyway, what I'm getting at is that I, I sort of like it a lot at, at that part where asking her for the ride to the abortion clinic, I would say something like, because, you know, I should have taken her up on the condom because I think she might, or I don't want her to end up being a great grandmother or something like that. You know what I mean? I don't know, even know if that's funny right now, but I, um, I like the flip that you did. Definitely though. The, cause you know, the end, there was kind of like a little twist of the abortion, but I think the biggest thing is that how you presented it, isn't how you would normally say it out of your own voice. Like you'd probably say, be like, "Thanks." She would ask me for a condom. Be like, "Grandma," you know. You know. You, instead of being like almost where you're acting it out, or I don't know. But th I guess that just wouldn't be my style of how I would present it because it seemed like you're telling like a street joke almost. Or, how or early are your dates? Like seven? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Grandma up? <laughs> Why is she up? Make sure it's like 10:30, 11 o'clock. Grandma should never be asking for for. A for condoms, I thought you were having sex with grandma. I thought you were like my girlfriend. <laughs> and then grandma was like the, the, the Anthony Perkins and Psycho thing. You're like, oh yeah, my grandma. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Something along the lines of like, yeah, I mean, maybe you need to have later dates. You know, make sure, or start drugging grandma. Like, put her out. Right, something. That's great. Yeah. Well, and I was thinking when uh, you said about the condom thing, um, when you said, and then we started making out, and then you could have the girl go, but I thought you, we were dating. So it's like you're making out with a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> just a suggestion. Or like you're making out with grandma, and you look over, and her dentures are just like right there on a table next to you or something like that. Or on your dick. Or on your dick. <laughs> this Sean says, on really your, when in doubt, just put it on your dick. <laughs> You know? right. <laughs> but also, too, do you think it, like you know, in a in a minute set or whatever to do say abortion sometimes? It's like, yeah, Tony. What do you think about you know, that? Or you could change it to where she got pregnant. You know, because if you're do, if you're going around town trying to do showcases and doing a three minute set and you say abortion, right? And that's like, sort of oh. what I, yeah, that's sort of what I'm saying. My original note about the getting out of that. I think I don't. I, I'm just not a huge you know abortion. Type. I, I think there's well, always I think, a, I, I think, I, Tony's I, pro life. Everyone. I think there's the no. I'm saying when uh, abortion jokes. But obviously. but like, I think the like, setup of him, you know, the the truth of him living with his grandmother, is the setup. But when you try to be funny and that you throw in the abortion, right? You know, then it's maybe, not real anymore. Right. Right. Yeah. Like almost. I guess what I was trying to. I guess what another route could be, is. Like, she's already disappointed in the grandkids that she has because then it comes back on you. You know what I'm saying? The last thing she wants is some, uh, is you having a kid. 
but also like too, maybe she wants to end the spreading of the seed with but, you, or or because think you're about, sleeping on her thanks, couch Tony. in the first thanks. place. Are your no, um are your parents still around? Uh, yeah, okay. they're still alive. So what if like the grandma was the narc who went back to your mom and was telling about like all the girls that are coming over, and she's like rating them like. One through ten, the girls that are she's like, oh well, she was a six, you know, or something like. Why is she a witch? Huh? <laughs> that was my grandma voice. I don't know. <laughs> why but has, but why has, does she have a gingerbread house? <laughs> but has this ever happened where you bring a girl over? No, I'm not stupid. So no, this, this <laughs> it's just you got to you got to do it for material now. You got to bring yeah, in, you and then it. you realize what really happens, yeah. right? And then and then and then you switch it to where it falls on you, you know, and then yeah. you're not the bad. Yeah, this way it's a win-win. You're not gonna get laid, but you'll get a joke out of you it. Look, because, because I, I mean, I, this, he seems like a nice guy. I don't see him blowing through abortions, like yeah, having right. to save yeah. money totally. every month, yeah, right. like a normal comic that yeah. abortions. Or like um, grandpa's coming in trying to hit on her too, or something like that. You should really start doing more <laughs> things around your grandmother just for jokes, like start humping furniture and shit like that. It's true. <laughs> just, just put your dick on you it. Get caught. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That's Skylar, everybody. Good job, you still Skylar. Don't have a, Skylar. You still don't have a Twitter account? At Skylar Comedy. At Skylar Comedy. You didn't write that down. You wrote down uh, the word bombing. Did you do that? I try and write a new joke for Kill Tony. This is uh-huh. part of my set. Right. So usually my jokes are more like, like this week. I wrote okay, that's enough. Yeah, Skylar, yeah. everybody. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Too late to explain yourself now, my friend. Heck yeah. How long have you been doing it, Skylar? Not long, right? About a year and a half. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wow. Uh, <laughs> your next comedian. Um, <laughs> this looks like a new name. You said awkward. <laughs> Bring your hands together for Carlos Escobar. Ooh la la. Is doing. Um, you mentioned you're a big Ohio Buckeye fan. Very cool, because we just had a college football rivalry uh, game day yesterday. Um, a lot of US- UCLA Bruin fans. I love that rivalries and their mascots come out. They get all crazy, like the US- USC Trojans. They hate the UCLA Bruins. I attended the University of uh, Phoenix Online. <laughs> Our mascots are the online predators. <laughs> Our rivals are those bitches at the Marinello School of Beauty. <laughs> we have a fight song at our pep rallies. It goes, uh, we go to school to get our online degree, but when we're doing our homework, we get distracted by pornography. <laughs> online predators fight, fight, fight. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's funny. Um, First thing that popped in my mind, I don't know if this is like too cheesy, but since they don't have a football team, maybe something like, like we don't go to bowls, we just smoke them. Something like, I don't know, online fucking. It seems like more could be added to it being so illegitimate instead of just hitting other things. Like something about being in your underwear all the time. Like, I don't know, that's what I picture when I hear University of Phoenix online, right? Yeah, I picture like cankles and like, yeah, lots of tissues. Yeah, <laughs> definitely lots of and tissues. cats, a yeah. lot of cats, a lot of open cool windows. Ranch is involved. Yeah. yeah, more open windows than. Maybe you guys don't even go to a game. Like your game is is in the chat room or something. Like you just heckle each other online and just talk shit online to each other, just back and forth. Maybe that's it. Like the only sport that you can play going there is chat roulette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Snapchat or something like that. You, you don't get grades, you get emoticons or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who does the best emojis? Yeah. I went to Phoenix Online a long time ago and our fight song was. Dial up. Yeah. It's hilarious. I like that. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot to play. That's a fun joke to play with, huh? Yeah. You really went there, huh? I did. It's graduating in March. I guess you don't really go to the... <laughs> Wait, you went I guess there? that's the I one did. college you actually you don't even go to. You went did it? Yeah, I did. I, they you have campus stayed. and online school. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> yeah, but why would you even pick campus? You just pick online. Do you have to go to the campus? That's why you... 
That's why you do Phoenix online. I'm more online, I guess. I mean, I'm online. I'm, I'm more a hands-on kind of guy. That's so crazy. Wait, wait a second. Yeah. Yeah. Then, why, then why do you go to like a regular college? I have bad grades. Mm. <laughs> they have a they have a campus for the online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had several campuses. Did right? You? Diamond Bar, they got one in... Uh, What's Diamond, Diamond Bar? Bar? That's they have unicorns down. and shit, <laughs> too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard Diamond Bar. Did you ever go to the campus? I did. What, what? It's like a shit. The Diamond Bar you've heard <laughs> It's an of. office building. It's like a storage it's like unit. A, it's an office building. They just changed the placard on the front. <laughs> yeah, so it was One day it's insurance. <laughs> Next day it's a fucking school. Welcome to school, everybody. Uh, so Diamond people, Bar Cabaret. Is it basically just... Are you sure... You, the, the campuses for U- University of Online aren't just like internet cafes or. They had a snack, uh, a cafeteria. Oh, shit. I'm oh, going. Easy, Sean. I'm easy. fucking going. That's what makes it legit, right? Yeah. Hey. That's when you know. It was a microwave and the guy sold uh, like sodas and sandwiches from a cooler. There, there, there was really, a, they did. There was a riot on campus. Seven people got banned. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much material yeah, to lot drive from. Play with so it. So, did you, yeah. where did you t- you take your test? Just online? You never had to go in at all? Yeah, it was all open book or open Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you just cheat? Like you Google? You can. Yeah, yeah. a lot of uh, scribed.com. Yeah. All you did is just get a scribed.com account and just. Where did you book. get your degree in? Uh, business administration. The future. Yeah. It's amazing <laughs> how hard. <laughs> Like, it makes me honestly just so jealous that I grew up when I did because I used to have to work so hard to cheat yeah. off of other people. And to think that I could have had an iPhone in my hand the yeah, whole time. Right. Well, you used to do it in the TI-81, remember? You just sit there in yes. that calculator and you had to, like, write it out or... Uh, I don't know. Don't I had to have the... sex with my teachers. Oh. Oh, wow. Man, <laughs> like did, you, did you have... Like, did you really do that? Yeah. No! Saying, Get out of here. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Did any of you guys get molested by your gym teacher? Okay, thank you so no. much for <laughs> yeah, coming. You. Carlos, that's really funny. Take some of that stuff. I especially love your fight song one. That's so funny. Yeah, that was a good fight song. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. That's great. You can follow oh, Carlos or tweet at him at C-E-E-L-O-S-E-S-C-O. Very, very good. Uh, whoever your marketing manager is, you should fire them, Carlos. <laughs> C-Losis Co. Yeah. Or Phoenix Online. Does that dot say Carlos? Edu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it should just be like carlosonline.edu. So, I hate when people make Twitter things like so complicated. Right. But it could just be like Carlos likes pie. You will remember that way more than like C E L L. Anything you have to spell out yeah. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And don't put numbers in it. No. <laughs> He's in business administration, you guys. Oh. Well, Is that then. what it was? <laughs> He's being clever. Right. When you guys started Try to stand up for him. When you guys started stand up comedy, was there any joke that uh, you guys had that uh, you can't believe that you used to say? I still say all those. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that pops in your head of like an old joke that you would never do now, but you remember doing it when you first started out? Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys were all perfect, huh? Yeah. No. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'll think about it. I really? can't remember. I had, the top I had of a my joke head. about gay people and their lisp. <sighs> oh, yeah? What was that like? How did that go? <laughs> yeah, Sean, how did it go? <laughs> <laughs> like, gay people, they, you know, they always have that lisp after it. You're so silly. <laughs> you know, and I didn't know what that was <laughs> until I found out that's the sounds that T cells make when they leave your body. <laughs> <laughs> Should, should I keep that one? Should I keep yeah, that too yeah. soon? Yeah, you should keep that. Why did you retire that? Yeah, that's so this weird. Even after World <laughs> AIDS mean, Day, how would you retire I that? I opened up at the... <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. it's December 2nd. Come on. Bring out the AIDS jokes. Do you guys, guys have any jokes that you retired because they died and it just, they just weren't relevant anymore? Like, I used to have an Amy Winehouse joke. I used to have a you know, Christopher Reeves joke. Oh, uh, I did one um, when Corey Monteith died. The guy from Glee? Yeah, I said I'd kill myself too if I was dating Leah Michelle. Oh, that's like that's like that kind of you're like that gossip column writer. I, yes. I have no idea what that joke is. I just went there. Was, I, know, I, know, I, know, I, I was mad. I was having a dark week. <laughs> All the girls in here were like, What did Yeah, know. exactly. Like, that's a, he that's did okay. heroin. You didn't say that about Lee Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> no idea who that is. Lee, bro. <laughs> yes, you do. No, you're you, you're great at that though. Like that's like part of your stand-up style is like knowing what people are actually into. Thank you, Tony. Like you are like, 
you are a topical guru. I learn a lot of my information about what's going on just from walking in the back of the room during your set. He really does. Yeah. It's like a news report. Thanks. So Kim Kardashian and Kanye, you know, whatever. I don't really talk about them as much. Well, I know. I'm just saying. I, I still hate them, but... That new girl, the one that just turned 18, though? Fuck. The one Kardashian? Or whatever. <laughs> That's not her name. That's not... Her name's not White Kardashian. <laughs> no, I said that one Kardashian. Oh, I thought you said the White Kardashian. <laughs> Patriot, you, like <laughs> you into the Kardashians at all? Yeah, uh, you know those young twin girls that are the daughters of the Bruce Jenner guy? Yeah, yeah. that's the one he's talking uh, about. That's Kylie talking. and Kendall. Yeah. I saw them in Hollywood in my old Iron Man costume, and I, I got to talk to them for a few moments. What? They were dressed up as Iron Man? Well, in my old Iron Man costume, the one that I had the big butt. Why were they dressed up like that? No, they were they were there for some event, oh, and they, they walked Chloe. by, and I, I talked to them a second. I, I said oh. I liked their show. And it, was, it was just a small exchange real quick. Yeah, I'm sure. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Did they try to mace you or anything and it didn't go through the suit? No. That's cool. No. Fuck yeah, Patriot. Yeah. Keep it going. Are you the... sure? Are you sure it was them or was it just tourists? No, that was them because the mom was there too. Oh, then, yeah, yeah she's a beast. <laughs> yeah. Patriot, I'm amazed that those lights never go out. Yeah. I charge them up every time. I got the Duracell charger, chargeable batteries. It's, it's a good thing because 20 years ago, I would have been spending a fortune on batteries. Yeah. It's a good thing. There you go. Yeah. Damn good thing. Am I the only one who thinks he sounds like Pete? Uh, a little bit? Well, I, Pete? Could, I could see yeah. that. That's what I thought, too. I could see that. A little bit. A little, little, little bit like Pete. Yeah. There you go. All right. Your next <laughs> comedian, everybody. Uh, let's get to it. Patri- Chris Jenner. Patriot, you're doing a great job over there. I, I appreciate that. Why does Chris Jenner look like Chris Angel now? <laughs> Have you seen that guy? Ugh. Fuck yeah, we've had this guy on a few times. Put your hands together for Kenny Lyon, everybody. Yay, Kenny Lyon! Oh my god, I thought you were gonna say Kenny Loggins. Chicken choker. Kenny Lyon. Oh, there he is, making a big entry. Yeah, oh, oh, triple axel. Double spin. What's going on? Kill Tony! Oh, just wanna let everybody know there's some horrible, horrible things is going on in the world right now. Eagles are dying. <laughs> Eagles are dying. Uh, windmill farms are getting shitted on <laughs> because eagles are flying straight to the propellers. I mean, how are you going to be the greatest symbol of this great country, but you're, you're going to act like a cunt? What the fuck? You can see miles away. Somebody squealed. What's going on? Again. Again. Hell yeah. I think I'm done. There you go. You're right. There's the sound of the cat. Um, so that makes it official. You were just going to keep doing that until it ended? That last part. Nah, I knew we have a mi- you guys have a mini. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you came prepared. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some there's some inter- there's some interesting thoughts in there. Uh, they can see far away. <laughs> that part should be closer to the front. That should be where the joke starts, I guess. Right? All that front end stuff before that. You could trim all that. But even then, it's still sort of like a. I don't know. I'd, maybe I'd like to hear. What do you think the eagle's thinking when it sees an airplane? I think they're uh, either getting fucked with the chemtrails, <laughs> or they're just like going through some like emotional stuff. Depression. Oh, she's really depressed. Or how ironic would it be if an if an eagle flew into an American Airlines jet? <laughs> You know how we, you know, the government's been spending money on drones, you know, to spy on other countries. We should put bombs on the eagles since they're, you know, trying to kill themselves. Is the reason why you feel so connected with eagles is because you both get extremely high sometimes? (laughs) (laughs) I was high when I read the article, so it was just 
Jokes are writing themselves. Oh, oh, we can Were you reading the oh, article we right now? We can tell. Actually, it? by the way, they don't write themselves. Uh, that's, that's the part you're supposed to do. Uh, they don't just write themselves. It's not that easy. Um, that's so funny. I, always, I just like jokes that, you know, that personally affect you. Like, how does that... Yeah, it's observational, but how's it perfect? Electricity bills you? are going high as fuck. You, I mean, you pay and the windmills are supposed to make us go green, and eagles are just fuck chemtrails. <laughs> <laughs> Why even argue with He's this right, guy? You guys. Fucking chemtrails. He's right. Black helicopters. I say you just commit to what you really have going on, and that's fucking being stoned as fuck and talking about, like, and getting lost in it and shit like that. I think that more paranoid route of saying that the government's killing eagles. I don't even know what you're saying, but it just sounds funny. Like the you can, conspiracy comment? What's your, yeah, what's conspiracy your, what's, stoned out, like just fucking... Because you know, I can tell you sort of know what's funny. So if you just go with it and roll. What's your background? Uh, both of my parents came from Guatemala. Okay. Heck yeah, you, you had to think about that for a second. Yeah. Where, where'd you grow up? Uh, here in Hollywood. Hollywood. Born and raised. See a lot of eagles here in Hollywood? I see a lot of trannies. Trannies? <laughs> talk, talk about so, that. Yeah, so trannies talk are trannies your American walking eagle. Into windmills. Trannies walking into American eagle outlets. <laughs> <laughs> and not leaving because the music's so yeah. good. Yeah. 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 yeah, and they stay back, there. It's a fucking oh, party back. in here. I got shoulders. <laughs> fucking look at my dick. <laughs> but why, why, wouldn't you, why wouldn't you talk about trannies? Uh, you know, I do have one. Because I bit, love America. Right? I do have a bit, but, you know, it's, I don't get booked that often, guys. And mm. these open mics are starting to get a little too costy. Yeah. Three bucks. Fuck. For some bullshit. Yeah. What's three bucks? Rock, paper, you know, Marty's. Marty's is $5 for 5 to 11, which is, you know. Chemtrails. I just got fired yeah. from my job. I got fired from ten dollar boutique, man. Like, oh my god, you worked at that place? Yeah, I was oh, holding the shit. sign. Well, Iron Patriot, we saw each other. Weren't you on the yeah, boulevard? Yeah. Right. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Were you kinda... inside there the store, go. or you're out trying to get people in? What? Are you in? You're in the store working? No, I was with the sign. You heard me yelling. I was trying to call oh, you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You ignored me. Wow. Oh. No. Was that after you were on Kill Tony? Nah. <laughs> Oof. Man. You, you, you know it's good conversation when I get dizzy and almost pass out during it. Like I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. You're trying to connect everything? I'm like grabbing onto Red Band, trying can, to fucking can, stay I up. feel like I'm on chemtrails right now. <laughs> can we hear his tranny joke? Do yeah, you... let's hear the tranny joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting to do this. Uh, uh, you know, everybody, it's just really, really, really ironic that a male, you know, comes up with these uh, nifty, nifty tricks. Are you writing this right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now well, the whole premise is the whole premise is that guys are smarter than women, so they they know. That is not true. <laughs> guys are smarter than women. <laughs> Males are smarter than females. Uh, basically, guys. The fact are, that no woman booed him, I'm yeah. like, I'm appalled. Women, come on. There you go. Standing there, he's by. He's right. Do you have Hem any? Do you have any sisters? <laughs> Do you have any sisters the age of 18 to 20? I have a sister, an older sister that's um, one year older than me. How so old? She's is? 22. Oh, cool. Yeah. How old are you? I'm uh, 21. Okay. Fuck yeah. Are you really, or are you just saying that so that you can be inside nah, of this club right, right now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I've used up all my lies, Tony. Yeah. There you go. Fuck yeah. Well, good job, Kenny. There he goes, Kenny good Lyon. Good job, Kenny. Fuck yeah. Good job, Kenny. He always makes me laugh, still. So. Yeah. Totally. It's always fun to watch Kenny. I like eagles. Any yeah. About eagles. There is something there. Like yeah. got, I can't believe that's our national bird, and they're that stupid to fly in, in the, the south. Planes. It's the mosquito. I mean, the last, uh, <laughs> the last national, you know, uh, thing. You know, what would be the proper? 
the last uh what do they call that thing that bird like a national bird like it's like a the albatross ah fuck what like a sim- like someone says the, symbol yeah 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 that's great the last big american symbol to the fly Mocking into an Jay. airplane was the world trade center <laughs> next comedian everybody <laughs> uh <laughs> Still Usually, t- t- World Trade Center jokes get a much bigger uh, you know, response. Tony, you know, Tony, Brody said you'd be ready for the Tonight Show in three years. I think you're ready right now. Patriot, the fact that you said that right after the one joke that didn't go well in the past 45 minutes just goes to show me that you're actually against me. No, I believe in you, Tony. He kind of giggled a little. You're ready. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say, Tony, you're ready for the Tonight Show after that one. No, I believe in you. I want you to take me with you when you go to the Tonight Show. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that I'll just cruise right through the x-ray <laughs> machine with you. Yeah. You, you need your security there. Uh, t- you have to take off your belt and hand me your cell phone. And uh, also that 300-pound guy standing right behind you can't come in at all in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right. I pulled the name. He's a funny guy. It's Sean Khan, everybody. Here he is. Give it up for uh, Kenny Lyon, the man who disproves that men are smarter than women. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> ha, she's... Uh, I love the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movie franchises. Uh, my favorite scene is the one where my father tells me that he's proud of me. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, that's a different fantasy. Uh, one of my best friends loves the uh, Harry Potter, I'm guessing because he looks like the character of Voldemort. Uh, let me explain that. My friend is an albino. He's actually a black albino, which is the only interesting thing about him. Because that means he can sing the Ebony and Ivory duet as a solo performance. <laughs> he sings it like Ebony and Ivory, because genetically he's a tragedy. Uh, don't worry about me making fun of him. He's got a great sense of humor for Halloween. He dressed up in blackface. Uh, I mean, personally, I didn't know how to react. I mean, who am I to judge him? If he wants to pretend he's a real human being, he has that right. Uh, so I'm trying to explain to him why Lord of the Rings is better. I'm like, one, they swept the Oscars. Two, their books are still the test of time. Then he kicks back, oh, but Harry Potter is the best-selling book of all time. I was like, that's not true. Sure. Yeah. Can I finish that? Fuck you it. could try. See what the bear does. <laughs> oh, there you go. A scary bear. Why does it sound like you're starting a car? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's ready for NASCAR! Uh, <laughs> Sean, as always, extremely funny. I'd like to hear more about having an albino black friend. Like, he probably gets to pick and choose when he's what. You know what I mean? Uh, like, uh, you know, I like hanging out with my albino black friend because he can sit in the passenger seat and I won't get pulled over. And you know what I mean? Like, he's... he's, he's no, he's my white friend. <laughs> right. When people call what, him... What do, you, what do you mean, officer? Look at his skin color. <laughs> right. When he gets called powder, it's racist. Yeah. <laughs> His actual. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Baby powder. Oh. Uh, that's my name. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. That was good. I, I thought it, there was lots of. And I uh, could understand you, by the way, this time. I think it's yeah, very. Yeah, yeah so definitely. You were quiet last time. That's great. Huge improvement. Blatantly. Night no. and day. But then when you... Uh, Which is also... Night and day is also what they call your albino black friend. <laughs> <laughs> Patriot, where are you now? Fucker, I want to be on Leno, you piece of shit. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, go on, Sean. Now, uh, when you talked about your dad saying that he's disappointing you, can you do an impression of your dad? Uh, uh, he just sounds like a regular guy. <laughs> yes, I don't not, know how. not what I was picturing. Um, well, that could also be funny, though. Like you could, <laughs> you could, you could say I'm gonna do an impression of my dad, and you sound exactly the same. And then afterwards, you go, <laughs> it just sounds like me." It's just me, but more angry. That's really all it is. You seem like, from your look, I would guess that your dad is like a some type of fucking like. Aladdin, like purple robes and like wizard hats and shit. I don't know. Like it seems like he'd be like a like giant. He, like he's Jafar. Like, like he yeah, exactly. is your dad Jafar? That's what he's wondering. Is it really? 
<laughs> no. No. Are you fucking? His name's Jafar? Jafar is a cartoon character. Well, that's yeah. what I was saying. I, I thought <laughs> you said his yeah, name's Jafar. Person. I'm like, I fucking nailed it? What? No, okay. No, is it, is Thank it, you. Is, yes, I deserve His name's that. actually Muhammad, which is even more scary. Yeah, difficult. okay. I'll take that as a win. Thank you. Yeah, you got yeah. it. Muhammad Jafar. Yeah. You know. Muhammad Jafar. Oh, he's sitting on a carpet Indian style right now? Okay. <laughs> Do you? Are you an online gamer? No. Weird. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. He's he was like he when somebody Hobbit gets shirt. up here and they're like, so the Hobbit, and he's wearing a Hobbit T-shirt. I'm assuming it, he plays World of Warcraft. How does it feel? That's to, not. Don't. No, take no. That I personally. play. Well, I play Final Fantasy, but not. There you go. Oh, so yes. I mean, oh, okay. yes, yes. Six in one hand. So Final yeah. Fantasy. Are you in a league or? No, it's just a uh, standalone. But you're, you're like a different kind of nerd. Like, it must feel really good to be like the buffest guy that's ever worn a The Hobbit shirt. <laughs> that's not a girl. Yeah. Right. Yeah, normally I mean, it's... That's the... not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know the kind of girls that wear Hobbit shirts. Right. You know? they're, they're, not, they're not exactly the most fit. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're a little bit thicker. It looks like they had a hearty breakfast. They're all very know? single, though. <laughs> very single, those girls. <laughs> Oh, uh, now Hobbit? you owe me? Hold on. <laughs> Women are stupid. Yay! <laughs> Hobbit girls. <laughs> no, Hobbit girls are the cutest. They're the best. Yeah, totally. Nerdy, like, fun. Like, uh, they're into shit type of things. That's fun to me. They're into <laughs> wicked magic and... Well, if they're into that part, that's creepy. That's weird. <laughs> you ever do a magic spell on somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Strangest question I've ever, <laughs> ever asked. <laughs> Anyone, perhaps. Oh. I said that with a complete straight face. Like, hey, maybe you've done a magic spell before. Yeah. And I was sort of looking at both. Have you done a magic spell on anyone? Oh, you're not even going to d- dignify that by lifting the mic to your mouth. I see how it is. Okay. <laughs> I've casted a spell or two. Really? Yeah, how'd it go? I played Dungeons and Dragons. You guys didn't play that shit? <laughs> No. Haven't. Keep it going for our one person <laughs> laugh track, by the way. Uh, she's the holding it down in the middle of the crowd. I absolutely Without love her. it. You've been there all night just firing it off. Give it up for a Coke dealer, who, wherever he is tonight. <laughs> Sean, great job. Uh, yeah, that was good. I'd say stretch out. I'd love to hear more about an albino black guy. It's all great. I'd say stretch that part out. Something about, like, maybe, I don't know, all that stuff that I mentioned before. Magic and your dad's Jafar. Something yeah, like I that. would talk about talk how about you, your do, dad. You have a, do you have a joke about how your dad's name Muhammad and like anything about that stuff? Because I think I really think you give that type of appearance of uh, Aladdin. It would be something that people would be interested in. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I have this little stuff about my family. It's just like I don't yeah. really talk about them. Right. Much. Gotcha. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Why not? There's so, there's something there then. Are they here? talk about them. Oh. It's all child abuse jokes that I have. I have a few of those, but oh. I think yeah, see, I'm not like Kevin somewhere. Hart who had like a fun family. It's just all like depressing material. Wow. So they're That's probably not they're probably not talking about you either. Oh my god. <laughs> probably not, yeah. <laughs> I like how I look at Jaws are dropped at that. <laughs> Come on, it's a everybody take it easy. All right, there you go. Sean Khan, as Thank always, you, very funny. Still not on Twitter, huh? You're committing to that? You don't think it's gonna take off? The hundreds of millions of people. <laughs> Someone should make him a Twitter account right now. It's true. Can uh Patriot, can you get on that? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this guy has become an internet sensation from this show. I've been following it. I always think he's funny as fuck. I can't even believe we're lucky enough to have pulled his name yet again. Put your hands together for him. It's the one and only Eric Carter is in the house. An internet fucking sensation and a funny rising stand-up comic who just moved here a couple months ago from the state of Mississippi. It's true. It's day of true. I've been living in California for two months, and I'm originally from the state of Mississippi. And ever since I've been in the state of California, I've been confiscating a lot of man cards. (laughs) Thank you, I needed that. But uh, if you don't watch football on Sundays, you hand me your man card. (laughs) If you wear skinny britches, You hand me that man card. 
If you eat this fucking garbage called tofu, <laughs> you just hand me that damn man car. Thank you. I had a vegetarian joke, but I just forgot it. But anyways, President Obama was here last week. Make some noise, you love him. Uh, and he ran over a cat. Eric, first of all, uh, I owe you two man cards. Uh, I eat tofu, and I guess I just found out that I wear skinny britches. Um, uh, there you go. Justin gave you one man Do we card. need any more? All right. Settle okay. down. Um, I don't even know whose card that was. I just gave it away. Uh, I can't read. What does that oh, okay. say? Well. <laughs> Can you really not read? Mm -mm. Oh. Eric Carter. Oh, yeah. It's a fucking prodigy. I love you. Are you serious? So all these people, this is what the funniest part of this is. I'll tell you right fucking now. These people on Twitter are going insane, and he doesn't even know what the fuck they're saying. Uh, but hang on You're one second. You're retweeting everything that <laughs> people mention. Yes. You have somebody that reads it for you? Yes, but, but aside from that, I got to wow. get three shout-outs right now. Oh, and God. it's real quick. Oh, oh, my God. The high school I went to back in Mississippi. They're for not the listening to this. <laughs> All right, go but for the first Oh, not the bear. No, no, no. Be real quick. They're going oh, to state champions. Eric, look <laughs> <laughs> Look what you did, bro. What's that, a wear? There's no shout out. They're going to football state championship. There you go. What's the mascot? <laughs> What's the mascot, Tony? This is. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Jesus. I didn't know they. <laughs> I feel assaulted. Right after we find out he can't read, he gives his high school a shout out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I can't read. What high school but did you go to? Just a quick shout out Where are you to from them who didn't do a damn thing for me. The Hickory High Bulldogs. No, our mascot. What, the Billy Goats? Let him, let, I'm watching his fingers. Okay. No, the high school went to, they actually are the Bulldog, but they're the Aggies, and they're going to state championship for the first time ever. Hell yeah. And I'm proud is. of those boys. They're good boys. I just want to give a shout out, giving them some damn love. Where are you from in Mississippi? Hattiesburg. It's 90 miles east of New Orleans. Oh, wow. Wow. No, I can read. I was just fucking bullshit. That was a joke. I actually oh, got a bachelor's degree that's so in weird. history, poly side French. Oh. Bonjour, monsieur. Je wow! Je what the? He's educated! Oh, Valedictorian. <laughs> Ashante, monsieur. Oh, oh, all right. So I'm guessing that's your extent of French that you know. Uh, <laughs> since you had to get those last two words in. He went to French market for lunch. <laughs> yeah. Um, Eric, what did you even talk about? Oh, yeah, the man card. Man yes. card. I'd lose the football one. I like what you're doing. You can sell those Foxworthy-esque type of beats. That's what I was going to say. It's yeah. very Foxworthy. Yeah. And But I, th I think that's right up your alley. Here's the your stuff sign. that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I'd say start what? with skinny britches so that... Did this why just lose go the... out? I just lose audio on this? No? Really? Tony, why lose the football one? Uh, I guess it leads into it, but I hey, just don't... Hey, the Buckeyes fan. No, that was just a joke. <laughs> was it? <Did> um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a good there's win, so Michigan. There. There's, yeah, there's they so went for the there. two. I so just like it when you when your writing is in the actual picture, like skinny britches. Right, britches. You know, that's one. I think. <laughs> and I, I remember britches. <laughs> well, my I, mom, I, my mom's I, from Tennessee, so like I I always. And get I switched and all that. Switched and, yeah. Britches? What's well, when you pull they a stick that. off and they switch your legs? It was like, switch it. You know, switch. You know what a yeah. switch oh, is. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to go pick you out I'm a like switch. You were beating, you got a strict pair. They beat you with a switch. They get, you had to go pick, Hell yeah. You go pick a switch. <laughs> Y'all from Texas? You got switched. Yeah. yeah. No, you're from San Antonio, right? Well, like, I, I live there, but like, my, my grandmother lives in Olive Branch, Mississippi. Right, my oh, Mount Olive, that's where Steve McNair's from. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, no, it's uh, south of Jack. He's Justin, <laughs> Justin's gay. <laughs> so, which means that he got hit with the switch a lot more than you two guys. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus, I wouldn't hit you with the switch. 
What? Uh, are, okay. And I said I wouldn't hit him with a switch. All right. We now we could tell just because you said that that that's not true. <laughs> Watch out! Look at look in the bushes uh, on your way home, Justin. If you hear somebody going, Again? Uh-huh, 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 start running. <laughs> God, I do that every day. <clears throat> you never know. Anything else about uh, Eric, guys? I like I liked it. I think you could keep going with it. Like, go with like the tofu. Go with like. You know, yoga, you could do farmer's market, you could do... Wool, wool hats when it's 90. Yeah, like, I'm just saying, remember, I, I say to... yes and stretch it, I agree. I'm saying keep that, keep an Eric Carter part of it in there. Don't just have it be things. The reason why I like skinny britches is because you're mixing it with britches. If you're saying tofu, I'd say, instead of just saying, if you're eating the tofu, whatever, you know, say, eating the tofu, yeah. whatever the fuck. You're make built, it country. You're, you're what, you really yeah. what he would really if you're say gonna make he's it hanging out with his bridges. friends. Them white, yeah. Them yeah. white cubes yeah. of jelly, or I don't know. Yeah, that tofu jello bullshit, yeah. like whatever you would call it, I'd say keep <laughs> adding that shit in Magnets there. on the icebox. <laughs> <laughs> Them sippy cups. Yeah, <laughs> sippy, sippy cups. You want to go to Titty Bar? <laughs> <laughs> he speaks my language, dude. Okay. He's dying right, right now. now. He's... Dude, I say it like that, man. <laughs> you old some bitch. Some, some bitch. Fun. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but he reminds me of every high school football coach I have. Oh, yeah, totally. You know? He's like a combination between a high school football coach and a wrestler cutting a promo, the way like yeah. he looks straight out when he's doing <laughs> his material. <laughs> like you. If you're one of those guys, hand me your man card, and I'll see you Monday night, yeah. Madison Square Garden. Oh yeah. I, put or I, I was thinking of yeah with a with a promo, almost like the worst used car salesman, like in the middle of East Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah. Come down here and get a tractor. Yeah. Like you can get a little bit of like Reverend, like Southern Baptist Reverend right. in it. You can get a little like. I would think. <laughs> See? <I> mean, <laughs> like it will go, you piece of shit, God bless you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I hate you. We're going to pray for you. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Eric, hey, you're a destroyer. Laughing. Eric Carter, Good everybody. Job, Thank you. Blowing up. I love it. Keep coming back. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep writing. You're a monster. And he, dre- and he dressed up for us. Yeah, he always does. He he's put always on a well belt. dressed. He always dresses like he's going to church. Yep. He'd be a southern preacher in something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Patriot, you've been watching Eric Carter for a while. Yeah, I think he has a lot of potential. Um, the man card thing was good, but I think he needed something to really close it off strong. True. <laughs> True. It was close. I agree. <laughs> You have any ideas what that could be? Like what's No, something? I was trying to think. I was trying to think. You know, it's a fertile ground out here. We're in West Hollywood. Fertile ground. Whoa. Whoa. Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah. Eric Carter is call me E C on Twitter. He's uh, got a lot of fans. It's very exciting to see that happen. And uh, so keep it going. Eric Carter one more time for Eric. Woo-hoo! Funny. That son of a bitch. <laughs> oh son of a bitch. It's always fun. Oh, this guy's interesting. Put your hands together for GT, everyone. GT. Do you know what that means? There he is. How you guys doing today, people? Yeah. I went to a family function over the weekend. Thanksgiving dinner. And I found out that donkey dick... Runs in my family. Donkey dick. Can you believe that? I told my cousin Tony, do you have a donkey dick too, dude? He goes, no, dude, I don't have one. Gary does. I was like, Gary? He has a donkey? He's shorter than me. The fool got a donkey dick? Damn. What I found out over Thanksgiving dinner that donkey dick runs on my mother's side of the family. Shit. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a businessman. So that's why I'm gonna be the first Armenian dildo model. I'm gonna have my own dildo out there. Saved by the pussy. <laughs> uh... Okay. 
Oh, what a weird Thanksgiving. Huh? <laughs> donkey dick, huh? Now, what is donkey dick? Donkey dick? Yeah. Um, that's what my uh, prostitute comedian girlfriend called my dick. She goes, you have a biggest... I've seen that that's like, you got a donkey dick. Like... So it's a large yes. penis. Oh. Dog, yeah, yes. I thought it meant it smelled hangs, like hangs, hangs, hangs down like... <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you come and it goes... <laughs> Your girlfriend is both a prostitute and a comedian? Yeah. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. What is her can name? We, can we give her a shout out? <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do we get a discount? <laughs> yeah, discount. you could. <laughs> is she here? No, no, she's not here. She's working. Working. She's working. She's out. She's out getting laid. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Which is which is working. She's out busting a real good nut. Well, I think that would be something to you. I mean, you don't really have to say that she's a comedian. You could just. I think you could go into along the lines of you have a prostitute girlfriend. Yeah. Who says that you have the biggest dick ever. She validated it. Okay, calm Stop. down. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> How would she validate it? She put a, a tramp stamp like of a approval. Little, <laughs> little circle with the little white. All this time, I thought it. I was normal. I thought I was average. So this whole time, you thought until, yours was until average. She said, I mean, you have like the elephant man shit. You have a dick of all dick. time. You have elephantitis, apparently. Yeah. How would you think you're normal if you have What, what is elephantitis? Like elephant dick? Is that what you... It's a little bigger than donkey dick, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two different size animals completely. I used to work at the L.A. Zoo after I graduated from high school, but I've never really checked out an elephant's dick. Well, before. you should check it out. It's everything. <laughs> so I think something about along the lines of that, like, you know, you have this, this girlfriend whose job is to just get plowed, and I think, like, you know, how is her, how is her vagina? Tasted pretty good. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. I ate her but vagina. Like, like donkey vagina. Is she, T- yeah, does she have donkey? It's is really it, sensitive. It was really sensitive. Is I it can- like throwing a hot dog down a hallway? Or is it like just... I mean, is it... You a, went down you know, on her? Like, what is that a yeah, prostitute's vagina? Is that just like a uh, latex casserole? or? <laughs> just smells like throw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And like Selena Gomez perfume. <laughs> what kind yeah. of cheese is coming out of it? <laughs> It's just like fucking a like you wanna have slow s- glitter drip. <laughs> like you want to have sex with her and she comes home and she's like, oh, I put a hard day's work in. Like, oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, baby, made a lot of money today. Uh, sweetheart, I'm a little <laughs> tired. I'm going to bed. Uh, Is that a glazed donut between your legs? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> come on, guys. I made, I made, her, see, I made her come. I, I made her come, bro. Yeah, I yeah. licked that pussy so good, I made her come. Well, actually, I face. made her come as well. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. I put my Anybody can, <laughs> we all made her come. Well, I think that w- I think that would be something to go along the lines of is is dating. I like a eating pussy. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's interesting. But did that conversation really happen? Even though I'm sitting? Armenian, I like eating pussy. Armenian guys don't like to eat pussy. They they pretend that they don't like pussy. They don't like they don't eat pussy. Eating a prostitute's pussy is like that kid in grade school that would put his mouth directly on the water fountain nozzle, like, all the way. <laughs> You're like, why does that one kid do that? He was like, a rebel, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> like, would you rather lick a payphone <laughs> or eat her vagina? Oh, I would eat I out would a prostitute a over some bitch from a club any day. <laughs> Half the time, those bitches from the club didn't use condoms anyway. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, man? You, uh, you are... lose. Yeah, you lose yourself in that character. You're and it a gets poet weird. among men. <laughs> it's better when the real you is talking. Um, you know what I mean, man? <laughs> yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> hey, man, give, give, give me your man card, man. <laughs> um, fuck yeah. Do yeah. his act in a different voice. <laughs> yeah. Give me your man card, man. Your Armenian card. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are Armenian, huh? Yeah. Fuck yeah. You think that's an Armenian thing to eat prostitute pussy? Or is it just like you? Oh, uh, I think it's more of uh, being Americanized. I'm an Americanized right. Armenian, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Did you see how his voice shifted? <laughs> yeah. You know? All of a sudden, yeah, yeah, yeah. he starts saying about he's an American, Americanized, true, like he's talking patriot. to the guys from Customs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm one of you guys. I'm, uh... <laughs> well, I noticed earlier... And your Armenian friends don't like going down on girls. Um, 
I don't really have a lot of Armenian friends. Hmm. Neither do we. <laughs> oh. I have I have some. <laughs> yeah. But the you know the taxi drivers. No, I they probably ask them. Do you like eating pussy? You should go up to them next time and down. I no. I, I, I bet you million bucks they'll get angry. Yeah. No, we Armenians don't eat pussy. Huh. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Okay, I there feel like there, there needs to be like a, a the more you know that but flies over your head. Right they're now. in the closet. You know, this guy's in the closet. You know, they want to come out. They have to come out. Fuck yeah. Donkey dicks. Are Donkey we back dick. on that? Are we back on donkey dicks again? I'm no. ready to bust a real good nut. That's there he goes, GT everybody. Yeah. Follow him on Twitter at GT Music. Is that correct? That's it. GT, GT Music. GT Music. Ah! That's okay. One last sound effect. Why can't that eagle fly into a jet engine? <laughs> Fuck yeah. GT music, but he does. <laughs> GT <stand-up>. music. Obviously has <laughs> a obviously has a second career that's going as good as the comedy. Um GT music. A pimp. I'd love to hear one of those songs. You ever hear of GT's music? Uh, this is a uh, music guy, Dirty Crabber? No. <laughs> Okay, your next comedian goes by the name of Ori Amir, everyone. Oh, yeah, Ori. Oh, Neuroscience, oh. double major. Oh. oh, oh, he almost dropped it. Wow, this guy's got the charisma. Yeah, as, as you can tell by my accent, uh, I, I'm a neuroscience professor, right? slash, slash model. <laughs> and and uh, let me tell you, brains are so funny. I mean, have you ever noticed how gray matter is different than white matter? M- me neither, I'm not a racist. Huh? And what's the deal with the cerebellum? I like her sister, Margaret Bellum. So funny, so funny. I, my, my dream is to become a professional model and an amateur neurosurgeon. This way I can just cut brains for fun. Chop, chop, left amygdala, right amygdala, la 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 I, I only practice neuroscience for the singing. I, so, my girlfriend doesn't appreciate it when I say, boy honey, you have a really nice brain container. Although she dies, don't hate. Fuck yeah. Well, you're talking about what you're into. You're going to college you're, uh, uh, to get a neuroscience. Be a, a PhD, yeah. Yeah, to be a doctor of the brain. Um, so you are, you are there. Um, fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, there's just nothing funny about the brain, I mean. There's a lot of funny uh, things about yeah. the brain. You know? Yeah, and you're on to something the way that you start the jokes with a lot of excitement and then trickle away slowly as you get to the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> that's something that's very, like, you get it right into it and then it's sort of just, I don't know. It's a very, like, mad scientist quality right. about it. Like, it's like if Dr. Frankenstein did an open mic. Like, yeah. it's very, like, and I think that's, it, you can go in a creepy route with that where it's like, you know, you have a girlfriend, which I'm just amazed. That's incredible. As and a, as, um, as, a, as a neuroscience guy, I bet she gives really good head. Uh, you made that noise? See, when no, you make that noise, I other went people like, oh, make that noise. it was clever. It's a neuroscience joke. <laughs> yeah, it's a neuroscience. You think I you think I do that on stage or something? That neuroscience joke? You're just firing <laughs> off those synapses, aren't you, Tony? Yeah. So wait, what does she do? I think Brody was wrong. She's a <laughs> swim uh, swim teacher. She's a swim teacher? Yeah, like a trainer coach. Like a lifeguard? No, uh, you know, she trains the kids uh, how to swim, swim. basically. Oh, wow. See, that, you guys have like totally different lives. You're super smart, and obviously so she's you, a box of rocks. So huh? you've got, yeah, <laughs> teaching kids how to swim. <laughs> He's got water on the brain. Oh. Oh. Wow. There you oh. go. See, yeah. There. Uh-huh. There's yeah, something <laughs> there. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Have you actually done surgery on a brain before? No, I'm, I'm not this kind of... Uh, How about a cadaver? Neuroscientist. I'm, I'm just... I only scan them. I only, like... I only put people in the MRI machine so and you're, like, look at my computer. So you're the, li- you're the guy that scares the dog shit out of somebody right before they're already wondering if they have brain cancer or not. 
all of a sudden they're already so scared. They know they have to get their brain scanned. They know they're not feeling right. And then it's just you with that villain accent. Yeah, yeah exactly. What, what, what's, the thi- what's the thing that you say to them right before they go into the MRI <laughs> machine? Give us an example. But say it a little bit slower than you normally would and a little bit more German, just like 20%. Don't worry. It will all be okay. <laughs> Is that really yeah, what you yeah. say to them? No, no. What do you really say? Uh, be careful. Don't put your hands Oh, my together. God. Oh. Is this really yeah. how you do it? Yeah. Uh, don't, you know, are you, are you uh, comfortable? Want to go inside? Have you Want to go ready? inside? <laughs> <laughs> that's just second base. Yeah. That's yeah. what that is. Yeah. I think that's funny there. Like, if you... They like want to go inside. That's so German. Yeah. It's, like, it's almost like you're keeping a... It's weird when the patient's Jewish and you're so German right. and you're like, hey, you should go inside the machine now. Everything yeah. will be okay. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, like 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 that. Like going in. Right. Go, With that German... You want, that it's gas? just a quick little trip, you know. Well, good evening, patient uh, Steinberg. <laughs> you can trust me. <laughs> you will slowly be tied down and go into this machine, and you will disappear for a few minutes, but you will come back, I promise. You can trust me. It may get a little warm. <laughs> you might smell something funny. <laughs> That's just me farting in the other end of the arc. Or even, like, saying, like, giving them, like, what you were mm-hmm. saying about when you go in, like, the last words they hear before they go into this MRI, you know, just right. be like, I hope you believe in God, or something, yeah. like, so, like, oh, God, you know. Right, Like, totally. actually scaring them just to, like, see what they do. That's yeah. really what's great about what you're doing, because that plays on, I, I can't be the only one that would be deathly afraid and that sort of picture that moment of, like, having to get a test run. And I think delving into things like that, I was actually hoping to scan your brain sometime. Oh, God. <laughs> really? Is that true? If I come I by where you it. are, yeah. can you do that? Scan yeah, mine also. Uh, I, I might. So, At so UCLA? Let me uh, know. USA. Hit me up. I'll, I'll, I'd love that. I want to see uh, what the fuck's going on. Yeah. I want to see if I may die soon. I want, I want to see if my uh, beliefs are confirmed and I have yeah. an oversized ultra-electric brain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Let it get quiet. I want to see if there's <laughs> cancer all over me. Got that donkey uh, brain. Yeah. The, the brain of a donkey. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> fuck yeah. There what, what if he combined it with Wizard of Oz and said, if I only scanned the brain, and it was somebody that got too late and died of cancer because they didn't get scanned early enough? Don't ever give advice again, Patriot. <laughs> that was your one chance at <laughs> each show. I, He's my lab assistant, actually. I love it. There yeah. he goes, Ori Amir, everybody. He's on Twitter, Ori Amir, O R I A M I R, O R I A M I R, Ori Amir. It's got an interesting perspective. Can you speak French, Ori? No. Wow. To think that there's something that he can't do that Eric Carter can. (laughs) Isn't that scary? (laughs) Just there's one little thing, but I mean, maybe it's just the five words that Eric knows, but... All right, so we are in our final portion of the show, making our smooth descent in, and every week we have two regulars that go on and are always doing a new minute. It's always fun. We get to watch them grow every single week. Always a blast. It's no different this week. Put your hands together for your first regular. Her name's Kimberly Congdon, everybody. Hey, cuties. What's going on? Um, four and a half months ago, I uh, dropped out of college to do stand-up comedy. I did, and it was really scary because uh, college is important to my family, and everybody's like, you don't need college once I came here. It's not important. You're doing production, it's fine. But I disagree, you know? I think uh, school had a lot of core values and like things they taught me, you know? Like when you're in college, they teach you responsibility. Like if your friend drinks too much, you don't offer them more to drink. You give them a bump of Coke to level them out, you know? (laughs) When your friend's night didn't go as planned, you always have a plan B for her because you don't want her to get pregnant and fat. Loyalty. I don't remember that part of loyalty. Fuck! I don't know. That's it. Thank you! There you go. Smooth 55 seconds uh, from Kim Congdon. 30 seconds of it was build up, though. I was looking at the watch just because I was noticing that you you were telling a story. Yeah. You don't need that much build up or throw something in there. Um, yeah. What, what was it even about? I, somehow Red I band. literally I know. just forgot. <laughs> it's it like everyone under your uh, chairs are stones. We're just all just people, gonna... People are telling me college isn't important, and I was just saying the stupid things that you don't actually learn in college. 
Mm-hmm. You know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you happy that you dropped out of college? Yeah, fuck yeah. Why? I'm excited about it because um, I'm, I'm doing something I want to do without paying for it. You know, paying for tuition and stuff because there's no major in comedy. That's what I want to do. Right. So why would I pay to do something else? And you went to Florida? University of Florida. Is there anything that makes that college different than other colleges? Um, yeah. A little, yeah. There's a, few, there's a few things. Like what? That make it unique. We had Aaron Hernandez uh-huh. who killed someone, which is fun. Allegedly. It's in Florida, which is a whole different thing. Did you go there when he was there? Uh, my first year, he was a senior. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever see him on campus? Yes. I served him at my restaurant. Oh, I was like, what? Yeah. Served him? What did, what did, what, <laughs> yeah. What restaurant were you working at? Uh, it was a place called The Swamp. It was a... Jesus. Uh, yeah. It's like a Hooters slash. It was like right on campus. It was like a, the, where everyone went on games. We all dressed up like slutty gators. Do you remember what he ate? No. Fafafal beans? No, I don't remember what he ate. No. You went to Florida. I did, yeah. Tim Tebow was there. Uh, you mean Jesus? And Nicole Smith died there. Yeah. <laughs> People do bath salts there. Bath salts. Trayvon bath Martin salts. happened there. Casey Anthony. It's a wonderful state. A lot state. of good stuff. Yeah, a, lot a, lot of, of, a lot of really good comedy Florida. stuff there. It's weird that tourism's Vacation down. Vacation spot, yeah. <laughs> Where are you working now? Um, I'm a PA at Fremantle Media. It's a production company. And what do you, types of things do you do for them? Well, today I almost ruined the company. Cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's That's talk great. about that. Well, they asked me to do uh, two things, and I did one of them wrong, and I almost shredded all of the production binders from all of the American Idol shows. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. At least you didn't do it. <laughs> no, I didn't do it, but it was close. Now they're all in one big pile of loose leaf, and I have to put them all in order from, like... 11 years ago. But I think it's okay because I'm only a temp, so that just gives me more hours. Well, and who watches, <laughs> who yeah. watches American Idol anymore? Just when you couldn't hate American Idol anymore. I know. Imagine you could have been a martyr having but to the, rebind all those things. But that's what's good about being yeah. a temp. If you're a temp, you could just go, oh, yeah. shit, and leave. <laughs> yeah. You're like, dude, I fucked a lot of shit up there. Yeah, if nobody would have saw me, I would have just... She got like, a, dumb, like, she got like a call from The Voice. It's like, do it. Do right. it. Just shred them. Just shred them. <laughs> Christina you Aguilera you called you. I right. know. That's why I'm up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe talk about that. I don't know. That's, I think the that's college a cool story. thing, it's like, a, it's like just you're beating a dead horse with right. that because it's like, yeah. College sucks. The hey, can I tell you guys something? I am the only member of Kill Tony that has a college degree. I graduated from the University of North Texas in Denton in 1991 with a major in radio, television, film, and a minor in psychology. That's why I can read people so well. I have an associate's degree. <laughs> Tony, you know what's weird? I went to that same fucking school. Really? Yeah. The, the Mean the Green. The Mean Green, Oh, dude. my God, of really? North Texas. Justin, you went to University of North Texas? Justin didn't. I did. Oh, yeah. Sean, I didn't hear that. Okay. <laughs> no. Wow. I went to a school called Baylor University. Whoa. Never, never heard of it. Never yeah. heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there goes Kimberly Congdon, Thanks. everybody. Follow her on Twitter, yeah. Kimberly Congdon. Take that American Idol thing and do what Justin said and, and delve more into it about how you almost ended American Idol. Go back yeah. tomorrow and shred all those papers. Yeah, and, and shoot Nicki Minaj while you're at it. Nicki Minaj? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, she is part of that, huh? Well, she was. Good for her. <laughs> and our other regular, as always, put your hands together for her. It's Sarah Wineshank, everybody. I'm an alumni of Chapman University, Patriot. College degree, thank you. <laughs> Moving along, just wanna let everyone know, communications, okay? Moving along rapidly. I'm tired of this pressure from society to be friends with my neighbors. I don't wanna know them. Just cause we live next door, I don't need to know your business, dude. Don't tell me you're getting a divorce. Don't tell me the name of your kids. Don't tell me the name of your dog. Don't send your kid to my house to buy Girl Scout cookies. Don't ask me to jump your car just because we live next to each other. Don't make me a fucking casserole. I 
don't want to eat any pea of mushroom soup baked in a noodle. I'm not trying to know you like that. Just because you bring me a casserole, now I have to bring you one because we live next door. Don't ask me for the landlord's phone number. I don't have it. Your neighbor's cat is acting up. Uh, you fucking hate your neighbor. Yeah. Okay. I think when she said the pressure, like the pressure that you have to become yeah. friends with your yeah. neighbor. That yeah, just made it me is giggle. true. Yeah, it, it does feel like that's something like Larry David would come up with, like the new neighbor thing. Now, now I have to give him a casserole? Like yeah. It's, it, yeah. That's funny. But didn't she major in communication, and that's the one thing she doesn't want to do with her neighbor? <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. You don't, yeah. I don't want to communicate with anybody. Right. You, you sound like you love life. Yeah. I do. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. You sound, you sound happy. <laughs> Who doesn't want a fucking casserole? I want a casserole casserole. right now. I don't want a casserole. Strange casserole's creepy. I mean, it's creepy if anybody gives you anything food-wise. I'm not into that. But if it's something that's slow-cooked like in a bacteria (laughs) pit, then that's even worse. With canned tuna. Is this this a guy or a girl neighbor? It's just any neighbor. Obviously a tranny, by the way. It's a tranny neighbor. (laughs) Someone lives above me. Someone lives next to me. Like, And if they live above you, that's still a neighbor, technically. So, so you like just want to live in solitude. Yeah. So you're walking to your apartment, and someone goes, hey, you want a casserole? And you're like, fuck <laughs> you! And you slam the door. <laughs> in hell! Totally. <laughs> cookies. Holiday cookies. Hmm. I do hate that. I hate being friends with neighbors. I'm not friends with my neighbors, and I, have to, I see them all the time, and we live, literally, our doors are, like, looking at each other. And they, like, fence in the back, you know, like, like they dress up like warlocks and shit. You know, they're really, like, they're, like, huge, huge nerds. I, they, like, seriously, they, they renaissance all day long. Like, like a and, rent fair. Yeah, and I just know my, my, my ex-girlfriend accidentally talked to one of them once. I'm like, oh, great, now she is friends with them. So I broke yeah. up with her, so I don't have to worry about that. But, but I, I hate neighbors. I don't want, want to know them because I think everyone... Maybe talk about how, you know, everyone's made that mistake of actually talking to a neighbor, and right. then that's the worst shit ever, because they yeah. won't leave just you Just open a can of worms. Yeah. yeah, like oversharing neighbors yeah. that tell you too much. I just right. hate, I hate when I have a girl neighbor, and we're walking down the hallway together, and then she goes to her, her apartment, opens the door, locks it real quick, like I'm going to rape her. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. come on, you're not that hot, you know? <laughs> and then I raped her, am I oh. right? <laughs> That's just a deadbolt, and I have a powerful leg. <laughs> Goodbye, door. <laughs> um, I've heard my neighbors have sex, which is very strange because yeah. they were they were terrible. And I and I at, <laughs> at sex they were terrible at sex. Like you could just, tell what was going on. Yeah, well, not like position wise, but you could just hear like it was just like uh, like the moaning was really bad. Ooh. Like there was like no like it sounded like it's they were in their sad. late forties, early fifties. <laughs> So good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I never saw my neighbors, and I was always afraid of what they looked like because it happened so frequently that I actually started like picturing like what they looked yeah, like. Yeah, it's like in a my neighbor head. edition of the voice. Yeah, it was, you yeah, them it was the, yeah, the moan. It was the moan. And then, right. and you actually meet and then him. Christine Aguilera turns around. <laughs> you actually yeah, meet them as just two guys in wheelchairs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're not even fucking. They're just trying to pick up their cup that they dropped on the ground. <laughs> and I'm like, they're totally having sex. And they're like, oh, oh I dropped my apple. <laughs> my pudding cup is on the ground. <laughs> and it's trying my to my ears up I to the wall. I, I wish I had a neighbor that could come over here and help me right now. My battery's oh. dead. <laughs> And I'm just like, this is so hot. I can't breathe into oh. this tube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there she goes. Sarah Weinshank. Good job, job Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> she is Princess Shank on Twitter. Kim Kimberly Twitter. Congdon is uh, with the K- Congdon with the C and Princess Weinshank. Or is it, no, Princess Shank. S H E N K. 
and Kimberly Congdon with a C are two regulars. The Iron Patriot, you're at Comic Patriot on Twitter. Need to get a passport, buddy. Need yes. to get a passport. There are rumors of Kill Tony going international, yes. and it is time to prepare. I'm ready to go, Tony. Let's do it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Halpin and Martindale, thank you guys so much for being thank part of guys. the show. Thank you guys What do you guys us? have that's coming up that you want to promote? You guys are on Twitter. You have yeah. podcasts. Twitter. Um, the Full Count Podcast on the Network Studios. And I'm also on Twitter at Sean Halpin, S-H-A-W-N, H-A-L-P-I-N. And I'm at Just Martindale. And um, I've got some stuff coming up soon. I can't really talk about it right now, but I do. You guys are two (laughs) of my funniest friends. Thank you so much for being with me today. Uh, Sacramento, December 13th. I'm at the Crest Theater with Joe Rogan. December 20th and 21st, I'm in Youngstown, Ohio at the Funny Farm Comedy Club. (laughs) And, uh, yeah, some other crazy stuff happening. Come see a Kill Tony live sometime in Hollywood. Monday's free, 8 o'clock in the belly room. And tell friends about this show, people. You're getting it for free. Red Band's nice enough to not play commercials before this. So go tell friends how much you love the show that you listen to and tweet about. And then you get your word of mouth advertising out there. And this way it'll always be free. Brian. Death Squad Dirty Show, San Jose, California. December 11th, it's going to be me, Sam Tripoli, Brody Stevens. And a bunch of other comics are going to be coming up there. Uh, Also, the new Death Squad sticker is at shopsquad.tv. Check us out at deathsquad.tv, obviously. Thanks, buddy. Come on, I'm screaming, 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 you being the man that I am.